Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my second craft with me video. Wasn't sure what to name it last time, but it makes sense, craft with me. Um, I'm gonna be doing the same as in my last video, making a phone charm and a bracelet. Last time I had an Amazon haul for you and today I've got a little order from Timu of lots of beads. So I'm really excited to share them with you. I'm gonna go through that first and then obviously show you the process of making bracelets. I also did an order of photos on free prints, which is a really handy app i'll leave the link below but you get 40 free pictures a month um and i've decided i'm going to start scrapbooking so i'm not going to go through these today it might be one of my future craft with me videos but do let me know if scrapbooking is something that you do or if it's something that you would like to see i've got myself a cup of tea and i'm going to sit and go through my timu order so this is the first time i've ordered from this app it's very cheap similar to she my mum did an order one there a few weeks ago for some holiday clothes everything came looked fine seemed legitimate um, um, so then I did an order of beads, a really great selection of beads. They also had starter kits like the ones I got on Amazon. Um, I got those ones on Amazon because they were going to come quicker. I didn't want to wait for the starter kit. Um, whereas these little separate bags I didn't mind waiting for. But if you're starting out with beading, making jewellery, things like that, I would definitely recommend Timu because everything was super, super cheap. So we've got a little random selection of polymer clay beads. We've got fruit um hearts yin yangs evil eyes just like random selection there i think this one here you could have chose um specific colors like all red all green all blue um but i just went for a little mix i've got these ones here which have symbols on so the actual symbols are like hearts and stars and clouds and they're in a more neon color whereas the actual bead is kind of like a cloudy white colour, I thought they were cute and all of these like little packs were literally like a pound or something. Um, I got some colourful letters because if you watch my last video, although there was some letters in the starter kits, there wasn't a big selection, I even struggled to spell Jess. Um, we've got some paw prints, um, I actually work at a vet and obviously I have three pets so paw prints are definitely my kind of vibe um, and I just thought they were cute. We've got, okay, I really, really love these. I'm actually going to get one out to show you. So these look like little Mickey Mouse heads. They're kind of like a little glitter ball effect and they're just so pretty and they look like Mickey Mouse. Um, so I thought they would be cute. And obviously I'm going to Disney on Paris for the first time in January. So I'm definitely going to make a Disney phone champ and bracelet for me to use on the trip. But they were so cute. You don't get a lot of them, but like I said, they are really cheap. Um, we've also got some more letters. These are kind of colourful beads with gold letters. And we've got some really nice colours in there. So like pinks and teals and browns. Um, so I'm excited to use those. More letters. I've got a big bag of black and white letters because I just know they will come in handy because I feel like I want to write something or somebody's name on every like charm and bracelet. Some colourful skulls, which I thought would be really cool for Halloween. I love these ones. They genuinely look so good. Um, and then little gummy bears, which I thought were really pretty. And I just love the colours. Like, they literally look good enough to eat. Um, little selection of flowers there. There's not really many in that one, but that's fine. Because I've actually got those in the little kits anyway. Okay, these ones are a lot bigger than I imagined. I do want to see if I can get them in a smaller bead. But again, they're little Mickey Mouse heads. And they're just really nice colours, but obviously a lot bigger than the other ones. If I can show you the difference, like a lot bigger. So I feel like this would be quite cute on like a key ring or something. Something that's going to be more suitable for a bigger bead. I don't necessarily think it would fit very well on a phone charm. Maybe one on a bracelet, like as the front kind of main decoration piece. Um, they're quite big, but if you've got children and you want to use beads and um, to make bracelets and things and um, they would actually like the holes of them are bigger so they're not as fiddly so they might be quite good for kids got some pearls which i'm really excited about because i love pearls um oh my god halloween beads so we've got ghosts and pumpkins and spiders and yeah just all the halloween goodness uh, I've got a big pack of fruity ones just because I really like the fruit ones myself and I've already used quite a lot on the few charms I've made so I thought that would come in handy. I think this is the last one. Yeah, just some little gold kind of like spacer beads because 
again like the golds are just a common one i've been using quite a lot from the starter kit so that is my little timu haul anything i got from timu i spent about 18 pound including delivery which i didn't think was too bad for what i got um i definitely want to go on and buy more but i'm going to try and get through making some charms and bracelets before i do another order so moving on to what i'm doing today like i said i'm going to make a bracelet and a phone charm so last time i made a bracelet for my mom who's gone on a cruise so it's cruise themed i made a phone charm for my sister who wanted just cute summery y2k vibes so i think i nailed it to be honest i'm not gonna lie if you didn't see it obviously the video will be linked below but i have made an instagram for my little crafty bit called crafty charm co so that will be linked below as well if you want to check that out today i'm making things for two girls that i work with so emily likes um, schools she likes purple she likes halloween she's got pet tarantulas um that's her kind of vibe and then leah would like a bracelet and she's very colorful she likes disney so imagine i was waiting for this order here to make theirs because obviously i've got all the halloween and colorful disney vibes here so yeah okay i think i'm gonna make the phone charm first because i've already cut out the string ready and um, she likes purple and lilac so i've went for a lilac coloured string and obviously this is for the phone charm i personally find string better for phone charms and the stretchy kind of plastic string for bracelets um so yeah i've already got this cut out um here's a few i made earlier by the way i've been making some for some girls that i've met kind of like on instagram facebook through the girlies irl group if you've heard of that but i have mentioned it in previous videos so i've been practicing the balls um yes yeah, so i've cut that out and i'm just going to start selecting firstly which beads i want to use on her bracelet so definitely the skulls definitely the halloween ones um i'm just going to put the extras in my little drawer for now i think i probably will spell her name out maybe with a black and white um i think they're quite cute i'll put them away she might want a fall print she likes animals um i'll put those up there um, maybe keep the fruit out for now but i'm not 100 sure. i'm gonna put the disney ones in there because we use those familiar right so i'm gonna first start by actually tying the string so how i do it and obviously take this with a pinch of salt because i'm very new to this and i don't really know what i'm doing but i just tie the top to make the little loop that goes through your phone or your phone case and i just kind of guess i feel like that's fine like as long as there's enough space for it to go back through so i'm just going to make sure that's tight and then i'm going to put the bead on obviously either side tie it um, and there we go so that's the little bit of string there i'll pop that there I've got my little dish which i mentioned last time from sheen which i'm going to put the beads in that i want to use um so i'm gonna start just picking out things that i feel like she would like oh do you know what i was gonna do i was gonna make a little unboxing Okay, I just had to do a little like unboxing video because I want to post on TikTok. Um, I just really like watching them myself. Like it's so therapeutic, like ASMR, and yeah, I just love seeing what these everyone's um ordered. Anyway, so I'm gonna get my little dish and I'm gonna start just popping on anything that I think she will like. So I'm diving straight into the Halloween one first, um, because as I said, she has she has pet tarantulas, which. I think it's amazing. I wouldn't do it myself because I hate spiders. Like, I am such a wuss. However, she brought some of them in recently and I touched one. So, very proud of myself for that because it was very scary. Um, But, yeah, so I'm just having a look. I feel like I'm just going to stick with a few, like, spiders and spider webs for now. I definitely think there's some nice purple paw prints in here and in my last craft of my video i felt a bit chaotic like i felt a little bit all over the place because it was the first time i was doing it so i feel a little bit more relaxed this time because i have an idea of what i'm doing if that makes sense and oh my goodness how do i get into this she says as she then struggles to open a pot oh there's a bit of tape on that's why it's actually really warm today and i think i said that in my last craft from a video 
um i've clearly just got bad luck i've just said that and then it's just got really dull um but i feel like whenever i plan to film videos it's always like sunny and warm which is not good when i'm sat in a little office in the house because it's quite a small room so it gets quite warm and what is going on here last time there we go last time i had the fan on but when i was editing the video i don't think it was overly bad but you could hear the fan so i decided not to do that today that pot is like really cute i've made by the way a little amazon list which i will have linked below um and it's got like the starter kits in the string things like that that i've actually bought but also other similar versions um they had some little storage boxes so i think i'm gonna have to get some because obviously all of the ones that i got from teamy were just in little bags and some of them are really like what's the word not a zippable but <laughs> you can close them uh resealable i think is the word um but some of them aren't so let me see i think i want some out of here see this one isn't so once i've opened it like they're just gonna go everywhere right, i want some oh actually she really likes um like lime green neon green so i'll add a little bit of that in i think that'll be cute um oh god i don't think this through did i right i'm just gonna move them out the way i'm gonna try and put them back in in a second oh we definitely want some skulls now the skulls are multicolored, but we do have some purples and greens so i'm just getting a few out spilling them everywhere and um, what i tend to do when making a bracelet or a phone charm and selecting the charms is i will usually select two of each charm or two similar charms so that i've got some kind of pattern if i do want to do it symmetrical because what i have done with the phone charms i've done is i will do because obviously you do half then half so I'll do one half and then the other half I'll do but in the opposite direction so that it's not completely symmetrical but it kind of flows if that makes sense because I am a bit of a perfectionist um, and <laughs> I like symmetry. Um, anyway, I'm going to pop them back in there. There's some grapes in there which will be cute I think. Um, I'm going to try and spell her name as well but I'll open that and I'll do that last because I know spelling her name will just be chaotic um don't know if i want actually that way like, hmm, i don't know if i want the grapes or not i'll maybe leave the grapes for now but i know i could use them i'm just gonna get rid of some of this rubbish okay let's have a look in the other things i have so we've got these ones here i really like these little um purple hearts they're just like really pretty colors see if you can see them there kind of more like pastel vibes oh there's actually some black and neon stars as well and um, i think i'm gonna go for the greens because the purple is a little bit too pinky for the other purples i've got so I should have filmed that because I pretty much spell Emily with the first handful of beads which I'm very carefully trying to get back in because while I turned my camera off I went to put the skulls in the drawer and spilt them all over the floor so luckily the skulls are quite big and there's not many of them because they have went everywhere my cats are going to probably be playing with them so I've got skulls paw prints i've got a few little kiwis to throw in there because she likes that shade of green um spiders yin yangs um spider webs and then some hearts and stars so everything's like black white green and purple i've got her name which i'm going to pop on there and then obviously the string is lilac and then what i'm going to do is choose the colored and um, little beads and spacer beads to go with what i chose so that's how i find it easiest to do it is like firstly pick out the like cute fun clear beads and then find obviously like little beads and space beads that match 
Okay, so I'm gonna open that. I really hoped it would be the weather. That would have been an actual disaster. I don't know what pattern to do this in. Quite liked how I did some. So I might have that out as like a little bit of inspo because I started it with like little beads and then I did a bit of a pattern. Um which looks quite good and obviously I've got quite similar colours. So I paused for a little bit and I've brought the fan in because it is literally far too warm. Also, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I've actually dyed my hair. Um, so I just quickly went on my YouTube app because Nicole asked me another question, who's one of my subscribers and I've chatted to you um, on like, Facebook and things. Um, but she asked me what my all time favourite shows are and what a good question i am such like a netflix kind of girl um i wish that i read more but i just don't like i much prefer to watch things so favorite shows um, so starting with one of my all-time favorites Gilmore girls obsessed um it's just such a cozy thing to watch like i remember watching it for the first time and it was autumn and i was doing night shift and it was just like such a comfort show for me i really really enjoyed it and it's something that i could just watch over and over again so i really really love gilmore girls so good um i've just put the wrong bead on <laughs> um another thing that i like is gossip girl um i haven't watched that in a while to be honest but like i just really wish that you could actually re-watch things and not know what happened like forget everything um and re-watch it like it just be so good but yeah i really loved gossip girl bridgerton like i just love anything like girly um the bull type which actually reminds me they have brought a new season out which i think is on bbc um so i'm definitely gonna be watching that because i really enjoyed the bull type um what else i'm currently watching heartstopper which i really enjoy like I'm trying to stick to like similar things that are on netflix um there's just so many things that i've watched jay the virgin oh my god that was also so good um i might have to write like a little list in the comments and if anyone's got any recommendations that are similar to what i've said um then i would love to know because yeah as i said i just absolutely love like just really light-hearted kind of girly things really when i'm with james on the other hand we watch a lot of like crime and like thrillers i suppose we've just watched hijack on apple tv which was really good um and we've also been watching manifest which the first and fourth season which is a bit silly is on netflix and um, we bought the second season on amazon prime and um, so hijack obviously it's in the name you can probably guess what happens um and then manifest also includes a player now as i mentioned in my last craft video i hate flying so i'm not sure it was the best idea for me to watch them not gonna lie but you know <laughs> we enjoyed it at least um what else do i watch with james jack ryan just anything yeah like thriller policey crime um ncis we've not finished that um james watched it years ago and we've been like re-watching it all um, and i really enjoy that as well so that's the kind of thing we watch together so i watch like all of the like cheesy girly stuff and then we watch all the kind of not scary but like thriller crime shows and um, so do let me know if anyone's got any recommendations obviously that is just a very small snippet of what i have enjoyed and watched but off the top of my head i can't remember i think i have a list actually on my phone and then also again i've already mentioned going to disneyland but i really want to watch as many disney films as i can before going so if you've got any disney recommendations because i've mentioned this before like i do love disney but i'm not like the diehard fan that's watched every movie and can you know quote things word for word um <laughs> um like I think as I think it's partly because growing up I was like one of the kids that just watched Nickelodeon and Disney Channel. Like obviously Disney Channel is Disney, but it's not like classic Disney, like Disney Princess films and stuff. Um like that was more my vibe, like Nickelodeon and things. Oh my god, has anyone seen that there's Zoe one or two come out? I don't know if it's a movie or a series. I didn't really look too much into it. But I loved Zoe 101, like 
loved it so much i was gutted when it stopped um so i would really like to watch that there's so many like shows that i would really love to watch like an after bit for if that makes sense i understand that sometimes things like that ruin the show like you know when a new season comes out and they just it kind of like ruins it like maybe they should have left it as that but yeah there's so many shows that i would just love to see an after for um like when gilmore girls they did like a little after um what was it called i can't even remember now said i am just such like a whoop speaking of watching things i watched barbie the other week um Okay, I'm very conscious. I'm very conscious of the time because I've actually. I'm very conscious of the time. Very conscious of the time because I'm going out soon. So I'm just gonna quickly finish this and then I'm gonna come back on camera to start the bracelet for Leah. Okay, so now I am gonna make the bracelet for Leah. So as I said, I'm gonna use the stretchy string to make a bracelet. Um, I don't know if to like not tie it. And then like when I see her make sure it fits before I take it off because the one I made my mum was a little bit loose which as I've said in the video shouldn't be an issue because obviously she's going on a cruise so she's gonna be warm um, but I'm not too sure so maybe let's just start putting them on like that because when I watched Louise's video she didn't actually cut it off here she just put things on so that if she let go like they weren't all gonna fall off the edge if that makes sense and when i did my practice run that's exactly what i did i literally lost all of the beads so i'm just gonna put them on like that and that, like i said i might just not tie it until i've seen her so i'm gonna leave the little space and some things out in front of me and i'm gonna do what i normally do and just select the little ones on here so i'm firstly definitely gonna get out the disney ones um I don't know if I want to use one of these because I just think that's too bulky for the wrist. So I'll use some of the other little ones. I think I will use maybe a purple and a yellow. They look cute. Um, and then I definitely want to put a name on, which I might do with the cocoa beads. Oh, and some gummy bears. I'll use some of those. Um, I might do an orange and a pink because I'm just trying to do like lots of different colours. Um, although I want blue and pink. I might do blue and pink. Um, I'm going to get these ones out of here. Might do some paw prints as well because she also, obviously, we all work at Bex, we all love animals, but I oh, can't open those. Um, I don't know if I want maybe like orange. Actually, I'll wait till I've selected other ones and then match them to it. I've just spilt the fruit everywhere, which is just typical. Might get some grapes. Open these ones and hopefully be able to spell the name without filling them everywhere. At least she's got a short name. So I need Oh, I've went ahead and chosen the beads so I've got some pink blue yellow and purple got some gummy bears some of the little Disney 
sort of Mickey Mouse ones and then just sort of more other colours to match. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't want to tip it so that they fall off. And I've went ahead and picked out some letters to spell her name in the same colours. So yellow, pink, purple, blue, and then I've got some spacer beads in front of me. So I'm just going to start popping them on. Do the same colour pattern that the name is spelled in. So we're going to start with yellow. So yellow, pink. Purple, blue, and this string is so much easier to thread the beads onto. And then yellow, pink. These little gummy bears. Oh my god, are so cute. Yellow, pink, purple, blue. And I just say that in my head, round and round and round, so that I remember. Yellow, pink, purple, blue. Yellow, pink, purple, blue. Cool. Yellow. I really like that obviously when I'm doing these like everything is just so unique like I could try and sit and copy one which would probably be hard because obviously with the not so much the coloured beads but obviously the patterned beads the little clear ones and things there's limited of them so it'd be very hard to like duplicate things so I just really like that everything is obviously very unique honestly it just reminds me of Leah so much it's just like so cute and colourful a little bit Fun, a little bit Disney inspired. Pink. Okay, I feel like with her name on, that should be about the right size. Um, so I'm going to put the name on now. Um, but. I think I want like a little spacer between her name, maybe in these little gold stars. So I'll put her gold star and then she was saying her wrist was slightly bigger than mine so I might just tie it like that because I think worst case scenario I could probably untie it and make it smaller if it needed to be so I'm gonna take the wrist and I'm gonna cut it off as I said this string is easier to put the beads on but it's definitely harder to tie than the other one okay so I'm finished so this is Leah's bracelet I am just going to finish tying them and then obviously do my little trick from last time where I burn them with a lighter and put some nail varnish on. But that is Leah's which is very cute and colourful. And then Emily's Born Charm which is green and purple and black and a little bit spooky. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, it's just very laid back, just very chilled. Um, do let me know if you do any crafts, what you do, or other crafts you would like to see me do. I'm um, definitely going to be doing some scrapbooking, and I'm just really enjoying like using beads and making bracelets and charms at the moment. So I'll definitely be continuing this. If you're already, please do go and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.